speaks and the language he uses as he conveyed the story to Moses. When the Lord said that he would make a man, a helper for the man, a companion, someone suitable, comparable to the man, he was actually referring to his own attributes because he created man in his image. So when you look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, the word help, meet in the King James, is actually the Hebrew word, Hebrew word, ezer konegdo. It actually means to protect and aid and help support by totally surrounding the person. And the only one that could do that would have been the Lord. The Lord was actually Adam's ezer konegdo. And because of that, that's why the Lord would come down and talk to Adam daily in the cool of the day, the Bible says. Because God was Adam's helpmate or Adam's partner. But as time goes on, once Adam started to be in the garden and to work in the garden, and he started to, he named all the animals, he realized one thing that he did not have a physical partner, somebody like himself. So what Adam wanted was an easier connecto that was flesh and blood, somebody like him. And God always has loved his creation. God has always loved his creation and what he created, and God has always loved us. So, God decided to give in to Adam's desire to create an easier connecto of flesh and blood. Just like God gave in to Israel and gave him a king like all the other nations. But how many know that the Lord is full of wisdom? And how many know that God knows what he's doing? So what the Lord did is he said, okay, Adam, I'm going to create an easier connect to a flesh and blood woman for you. But I'm not going to let you participate in the creation that I am going to create. As a matter of fact, Adam, I'm going to put you into a deep sleep. Because I don't want you to wake up out of your sleep and give your opinion. And you create it what you think would be a good woman. So God, the Bible says that God put a deep sleep on him. Deep sleep, because he didn't want him to wake up out of his sleep. No, I don't like that. No, do this, don't do that. No, he put him to sleep. So the woman actually became the easier connecto designed by God, the flesh and blood. You are man's easier connecto. Designed by God. A suitable helper, a companion for your husband or for the ministry, for the local church and the international ministry. Even if you're not married, you're still created to be an easier connecto to the ministry. That's what God had in his mind. An easier connecto for the ministry. Not just for man, but for the ministry. To carry out his plans that he had for mankind and to preach the gospel throughout the whole world. Remember, God did not let Adam get involved with his creation. He did take something from Adam, but he did not let Adam get involved. You always have to remember that. When you're fighting with your husband, or when you're fighting with your pastor, or you're fighting with the leaders of the church and say, you just want me to be like this. No, sir. Uh-uh. It's God designed you. And God wants you to be a certain way. A lot of marriages get hung up where the girl says, no, you just want me to be like this. No, you just want me to be like No, it's not. It's God's design. It's not man's. If we were asleep, <laughs> we were asleep. I was running the streets of Southern California being a dope fiend. 
when God created my Ezer Connecto. God did not let me get involved in the picking of my mate and the creation of my mate. So you gotta remember that. We were asleep. We were asleep. Some of you wise are saying, I wish my husband was still asleep. Or some of you are saying, I wish he would wake up. He should hear this message. No, 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 it's not for him, it's for you. It's not for your husband. You could buy a tape for him after. It's really for you. God said, it's not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper, a companion for him. God's choice of material to create the woman was the rib. Why the rib? Because the rib is the tough, strong, in substance. And it is known as the rib cage because it supports the whole body in an upright position and the ribs stand alone. So when God took the rib out of man to create the woman, God knew that what he was doing. He knew that with, when the man, when the Bible says that it's not good for man to be alone, in other words, it's not good for man to not have somebody by his side. Somebody backing him up. Somebody to be there. The woman's role is to help the man stand by standing by his side. Being there at all times. But let me say this. When men think of somebody that stands by, by their side, the first one they always think about is their mom. She's, oh, some of you don't like that, huh? <laughs> you got to remember, the first woman that we remember that stood by our side was our mom. See, moms always demonstrated their support by always claiming their sons. Standing by their side, never comparing them with anybody else, always had a meal for them, picked up after them, Totally washed their clothes, ironed their clothes, did everything for them. But their mothers were also stern and wanted, that, wanted us to grow up and succeed, become men, and do the best that we can in this life. That's the way a mom was. Moms were always there. Even when we were dope fiends, mom was there. Even when we were drug addicts, mom was there. 